baby back versus St. Louis style ribs. What's the difference? How to cook each one and which one's better? Let's find out. When you're looking to cook pork ribs, you'll usually find two different kinds. You'll find your St. Louis style cut and your baby back cut. Now you'll also see a pork spare rib, which is the same thing as a St. Louis style cut. It's just not trimmed into the St. Louis style. So we've already learned one thing about the St. Louis style cut rib is that it comes from a pork spare rib. The pork spare ribs come from the belly portion of the pig. With the baby back ribs, these come from the loin portion of the rib. With a St. Louis style rib, you can see it's nice and square cut and very very flat. With a baby back rib, you're gonna have a little more meat and you can see that this bone is curved. Let's get these ribs trimmed up, we'll get them seasoned and we'll get them out on the smoker. Now you can get a little closer look at these ribs. Here's your St. Louis style cut. You can see that intermuscular marbling in there. Compared to these baby back ribs, See, there's not much marbling in the meat here compared to those St. Louis style ribs. And again, that's because these are from the belly, a very fatty section, and these are from the loin, a very lean section. Now for trimming, they're both gonna be very simple. So what I like to do with these ribs, with the St. Louis cut, you're gonna have one side that's kind of flimsy like this and the bones start to kind of disappear. So I like to find the last good bone here and then go right next to it and just trim that down. And as you can see, this is kind of just a fatty piece anyway, so you're not really gonna want that. Then flip it over to the other side, and a lot of times on this thick end, it's just a chunk of fat, as you can see here. You can see the butcher on this one trimmed this bone halfway through, so we're not gonna want that. So I'm just gonna go on the inside of that piece of bone and just trim that right off. Now let's get our baby backs here in the front. And we're gonna do something pretty similar. Feel for the end, see if there's any bones. There's none here. So all I wanna do with this is kinda just square it off a little bit. Then we'll flip it over to the other side. And as you can see, this is kinda ripped apart here. So I'm gonna feel for the last bone right about here. So I'll come on the inside of that bone. Just trim all that right off. There's your nice trimmed up baby back ribs. And then we got our trimmed up St. Louis style ribs. And these look fantastic as well. But that's that, we'll get these flipped over. You can see there is a membrane on both of these ribs. I'd also like to mention at this time, I rinsed these ribs and patted them dry. You're always gonna wanna rinse any kind of ribs, whether it's baby back or St. Louis style, because of how they cut these bones. You're gonna have a lot of bone fragments on both these ribs. Give them a nice rinse, then pat them dry as best you can. Back to the membrane. A lot of people will like to remove this membrane on both of these ribs. That's fine if you wanna do that. I choose not to. And the reason is you can see how much fat is underneath this membrane. If you leave the membrane on, it'll hold all that fat in and I think it makes both these ribs a little more juicy. And when you cook them the way that I'm gonna show you today, the membrane will be cooked through and you won't notice it. So enough of that, let's get some seasoning on here. You can go salt and pepper, you can go salt, pepper, garlic. It's really up to you. Get your favorite barbecue seasoning, go ahead and season that on here. Anything is fine with ribs, that's why they're so great. Today I'm gonna to be using my barbecue seasoning that I made. If you're interested to see the recipe on this, be sure to check out my seasoning video. I show you this recipe, my SPG recipe, a jerk seasoning and a blackening seasoning, so you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. So go ahead, just start seasoning the back side of these ribs. I like to start with the membrane side first, put a decent coating on there and then Get your edges as well. There we go. Now we'll season the baby back ribs. Same thing, it's a nice generous coating on the back side here. Make sure to get your edges. Now we'll get this flipped over, season this top side. And so far you can see these ribs are very similar in prepping and seasoning. Then I just like to pat that in there. Now if you rinse and dry your ribs, they'll still be a little wet and that's gonna help with getting your seasoning on there. If for some reason you have a really dry set of ribs, if you left them out or something like that to let them dry, you may need a binder. You could just spritz them with a little water if you want. I'm sure a lot of times you've seen people use a mustard binder. Again, I'm not really a big fan of that. I don't see the point of it. A little water will work great. So go ahead and save yourself the hassle of making a mess with mustard and just spritz these with some water. Pat it in. And as you can see, there's no problem with this seasoning sticking to these ribs. Now, a lot of times I like to let these ribs sit for about 10 minutes or so, you'll see the seasoning will start to get a little tacky. All right, so I'm just gonna let these sit probably for about five minutes, but let's get out to the smoker and we'll get these things on. We got the smoker all fired up. Let's get these ribs on. Now I always like to put the thicker end of the ribs in the direction where the heat is coming from. So I'm gonna do that with both of these ribs, but we got those ribs on. 
get them in, get this thing closed up and let them smoke. Got my smoke around 250 degrees. I'm gonna maintain that for a couple hours at least and then I'll probably bump it up to around 275. Now, so far, everything has been identical to how we do these ribs. But the timing with these ribs is gonna be the first difference. With the baby back ribs, they tend to cook a little faster than the St. Louis style rib. I do have a nice thick cut of baby back ribs and those St. Louis ribs I have are a little on the thin side so they may actually cook at the same speed but a general rule of thumb is that a baby back rib will probably cook cook a little bit quicker than a St. Louis style rib. The reason for that is all the intermuscular fat in the St. Louis ribs, you're gonna to wanna to render that down a lot, so they need to cook just a hair longer. So like I said, 250 degrees for the next two hours, then I'll probably go out and check them. At that point, we're probably gonna be giving these things a spritz. For a spritz, I'm just gonna use a 50-50 mix of water and vinegar. I really like that, it tends to work well, just to make sure the edges on the ribs don't burn at all. So around the two to three hour mark, I'm gonna be checking them for tenderness, and I'm looking for a really nice bark on these things. Once it reaches that point, I'm gonna pull them off, get them wrapped in some butcher paper with a little pork lard and some barbecue sauce. Then we'll throw them back on the smoker and just let them finish up. In the meantime, let's make that barbecue sauce. Then after that, we'll go out and check these ribs. So you can use a store-bought barbecue sauce, but for this recipe, I'm gonna show you how I like to make a really delicious barbecue sauce. It starts off with about half a cup to a cup of white vinegar. To that, I'm gonna go in with, say, a cup and a half to two cups of ketchup and a few splashes splashes of Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of hot sauce, using Frank's Red Hot for this. Now I wanna add in a couple tablespoons of honey, a couple tablespoons of sugar, a little bit of salt, just a touch, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, a tablespoon or so of black pepper, depending how much you like it, and then a little bit of chili powder. Also, a couple tablespoons of mustard powder. If you don't have this, you can just use regular mustard. And there you go, that is it. Just go ahead and give that a mix. So this is looking pretty good to me. I'm really just looking for a consistency here. So you can kind of see where we are with this here. That's a perfect consistency for me. So I'm happy with that. Now, just to make it easier later, got myself a nice squeeze bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump this barbecue sauce into here. All right, so there's our barbecue sauce. Very happy with how this came out. See, it's got a nice consistency there. This is kind of perfect consistency for me. I usually like a thin barbecue sauce, but for the ribs, you're gonna want it a little thicker. Speaking of the ribs, I think it's time to go out and check them, so let's get out there. All right, so we are about three hours in on these ribs. Let's give them a look. Check out the baby back ribs. They look really nice. Here's our St. Louis ribs. Those are looking good too. They got a nice color. They're getting pretty close to being wrapped. I don't think they're there yet. Let's check them for tenderness. They feel pretty good. Check the baby backs. Oh yeah, those feel really nice actually. Don't think they're ready yet. Let's check a temperature on these. So we're at 165 on the baby backs and we're at 163 on the St. Louis. So they're actually pretty close here. I'd say around the 175, 180 mark, these should be ready to wrap. Wanna see a little bit more pullback from the bone. A Little better bark before I take them off and wrap them. So all I'm gonna do now is just give them a quick spritz. So I'm probably gonna spritz these every half hour or so, I'd say. And I'm thinking about another hour, hour and a half, and these will be ready to wrap. So I'm gonna get these in, let them smoke, and I'll see you guys when these are ready to come off, and we'll get them wrapped. All right, the ribs have been on for another hour or so, and they are ready to come off and get wrapped. I have found that butcher paper works best for me, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. Here's our St. Louis ribs, check that out. You can see these have a beautiful bark on them. Check out that membrane, cooking really nice, holding all that fat in. So let's get these laid down, we'll get them wrapped up. So all I like to do is throw a little bit of pork lard on here, just a few pads. Helps keep everything nice and moist. Just like that should be good. Then I like to just go on with that barbecue sauce. Put a good amount on there, nice little drizzle. Just like that. Then we just wrap it up. I'm gonna try and get it as tight as possible. There we go, perfect. So we'll move these to the side, get our other paper. Now I'm gonna bring these out and I'll grab the baby backs. All right, these smell really nice. Check that out. Got a nice color on them. See, they were starting to get a little dark over here on this end, but these are gonna be good. Let's get them laid down. And these are getting the same treatment. Pads of lard and some barbecue sauce. 
And we're still doing pretty good with how these are cooking, both same amount of time till they were done. Let me get our barbecue sauce. Put a good amount of this barbecue sauce. Want everything covered. Beautiful. Now let's get this wrapped up. Same as before. Want this nice and tight. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna get these out on the smoker. All right, ribs are all wrapped up. They're back on the smoker. And like I said before, they're cooking pretty evenly, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna let them go for probably an hour and a half to two hours. You can always go ahead with the temperature probe, poke through the paper, see how it feels for tenderness. You'll know that way, but around an hour and a half to two hours, these should be done. Now I'm gonna keep the smoker around 250, 275 degrees. I'm not too worried about letting it get too hot at this point, but these are looking really good and I'm super excited to try them. So I'll see you guys when they're finished. All right, these ribs are done with two identical cook times of six total hours. Let them cook uncovered for about three and a half hours, then I wrapped them up and I let them cook for another two and a half, took them out and I let them rest for another hour. I could smell them, they're absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead, get these unwrapped and we'll take a look at them. All right, so let's start off with these St. Louis style ribs. Oh, these smell so good. They're super tender. Oh yeah. Let's get these moved over a little bit. What I like to do is collect some of this leftover sauce and fat. Let's go ahead and throw it on the ribs and just rub them down. Get some of that sauce all over these ribs. Oh yeah, these are gonna be so good. We don't want that stuff to go to waste now. Now if you want, you can always put some more barbecue sauce on here. It's up to you what you prefer. I don't like too saucy of a rib, but these look good. Check those out, huh? Oh yeah. Let me get this butcher paper out of the way, give you a better look. Check that out. These things look fantastic. See the nice sauce we got on there? These are gonna be so good. You can see how much it pulled off the bone. These are nice and tender. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll get these out of the way. Let's get our baby backs unwrapped now. See how these came out. The way the St. Louis look, I'm expecting these to be just as good. Oh yeah, phenomenal. Again, just get some of that fat and sauce out of your paper. Go ahead and rub it all over these ribs. Oh, these are gonna be good. I don't know which one I'm gonna like more. They usually go with the St. Louis, but these baby backs are looking mighty fine. Go ahead and check those out, huh? Those are some good looking baby back ribs right there. All right, guys, time to slice into these. And I'm just gonna get one slice off of each to show you. So let's get a nice slice off the St. Louis rib. Noice. Check that out, huh? Super tender. This is going to be a delicious rib. Let me give this a try. Mm, so good, perfectly cooked. See, it falls right off the bone, but it's not super, super tender. This is a nice rib. Mm, delicious flavor on there. All right, let's get a slice off these baby backs though. And these can be a little harder to cut, so I like to flip these over so I can see the bones. Ooh, see that just pulled right apart. Check that little nugget out, nice and tender. I don't think it's as juicy as the St. Louis style rib, but let me give this a try. Mm, that's good too. Mm -hmm. mm. It's got a little more chew than the St. Louis style rib, but this is so good. Absolutely delicious rib. I'd be happy with either one of these. All right, so there's your side-by-side -side comparison of a St. Louis style rib and a baby back rib. Both absolutely phenomenal in their own way. You can definitely tell this is more of a belly meat and this is more of a loin meat. You can't go wrong with either one of these ribs. But let me know which one you guys like more. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. I'm gonna leave a link of everything I like to use in the description below, so make sure to check that out. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe right over here. And if you're looking for another one of my videos, I'll put one up right here for you, so check that out. But once again, thanks for watching, and most importantly, get out there and smoke something good. Mmm.